just finished a NYCDOE meeting, which is Department of Education inside New York City for really scary things. Um, same school I attended, by the way, in the 1980s. It's just now, it's year 2022. This flag is what my Long Island school had. For some reason, this school in New York City doesn't have any flag. I have no idea what that's indicative of. I've asked about it. I've inquired. They said it's being... Um, it's being cleaned, or it's uh, being laundered. Again, don't know. But now this is really interesting. They call this place where I am, and where I receive this level of information, they call it America. And there's some unrest. I. It doesn't say who the villains are. I mean, I heard the other day it was human, humans. I mean, I've been saying that for a long time, but who am I? All right, so now on here it says U.S. preventative cancer screening. It says more than 9.5 M missed. That's according to the source is the Biden administration, and now they're reporting this on something called a CBS This Morning. Now, what's interesting is for metrics, just because nobody knows what a 9.5 M is, I'm not saying it's anything more than what Biden, but if the word million, M-I-L-L-I-O-N, is ever sounded, what million would look like in decimal places is this. Uh, my whole thing is if management changes or shifts at any point and this many of the men that I need in like big brothers and dads existed when my grandfather was alive, if this many go missing or are replaced with something that I wasn't expecting, that would really put me in danger. And that would also put my children in danger. I'm feeling like in New York, when I send my son to school, some number went missing somewhere. I, there are others that may not feel those effects yet, but it's hit New York City and just outside New York City onto the Long Island fish uh, pretty hard. So, now let's see the level, level of doctor that, it says here, Dr. Davis Ag Agus on missed screenings and increase in late stage diagnosis for cancer. Let's give him <coughs> an articulated subject that if it was my one body, not the interior domestic United States of America, but if it was my personal body, and we called it breast cancer, not like the important state somewhere else in a different union, but I'm my, where my feet are, I'm in a U.S. domestic area, it's under besiegement. I can see it everywhere I look. That's a verified fact. Um, so now, if we give this educated doctor in this medical system that <laughs> I don't have the nicest things to say of because they're under attack at the moment too and they keep sticking up for one another. So if they are the cancer, just roll with it for a minute. Um, here's the level. When... when you ask them to describe their field and their industry, and if the body gets invaded by cancer, what's their protocol or way of handling it? They seem to know how to answer those questions. 
When you say, or they even get a whiff or a hint of, well, that's what's going on currently in New York. It's like a cancer that invaded and we need to take care of it. How do we proceed? All of a sudden, it becomes like, I don't know, what, a 43-year further extension on not doing anything? I just want to know how cancer research and the handling at like surgical level surgical precision i know they exist somewhere and they are very actuarially happy about their success rates and timing there have been more than nine and a half million missed cancer screenings in the u.s because of the pandemic God, is that frightening if that's a, like, articulation on management changes that someone missed. Damn it. CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus joins us now. Uh, Dr. Agus, good morning. That is a big number of missed screenings. Uh, how dangerous is it? So now if that was, like, domestic terror, just, like, just if it was domestic terrorist screenings in New York. Just on an off chance they needed some kind of hypothetic, hypothetical number, considering one of them tried to, like, make me ingest radiation, liquid radiation for a hypothyroidism. Great, let's go with a hypothetical that there's some terrorist somewhere embedded in New York City, not far off. Then let's see, what if we miss 9.5 screenings? That is a lot of, s wow. Well, you know, 1.7 million people a year are diagnosed with cancer in the United States, and we took a pause on screening, yet disease didn't pause, and it's what we're seeing. Does that number 1.7, does that match immigration set standards? I'm just, again, I know that somehow in re it's relatable within the U.S. Embassy and the imbeciles, but... Uh, not every imbecile is bad. It's There are very specific imbeciles. Patients presenting with advanced disease. Advanced disease means that it's no longer curable. And obviously for each one... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why would you ever let domestic terrorism as a cancer get in and progress to a stage that's no longer treatable? When that happens, I mean, in the body as a human, it's death is imminent. But what do you do when it's something else? It's one of those lies. You feel sorry that we literally, we, we dropped the ball there because our hospitals were full. And we oh my God, you an actuarial and someone who studies like, no, I have to get it right every time, on time. Like, there is no room for error. It's life or death. This man makes me want to cringe. We couldn't do cancer screening. So our preventative screenings down in other who said you couldn't do preventative screenings i'm just curious with like the land folks and folklore that have so many excuses and very little like no we need the results that we need it's this one area and it's really important other types of cancer or is breast cancer a particular category it's all of them. Obviously, breast cancer mammography, getting a mammogram, we know will save the life of a woman. And again, this is where the articulation doesn't always work out right. I mean, they're talking about humans. I'm saying, what if in something like just for like, uh, how else do you talk about and it? And here, this is how they go. Because this is during a time of pandemic. <laughs> 2019 to 6.2% in 2020. The Biden administration Oops, says... Wait. To advance... Here we are. Advanced stage four in breast cancer cases. Oh my gosh. And it's the JAMA Network Open... Moore's Cancer Center at University of California, San Diego Health. Wow. Mm. I don't know. Jane Doe calling. Just curious how that's going to work at, like, admirable things. Um, 
It's shocking surveillance video. Uh, they're shooting people up with bioengineered products. I don't know what they're doing with the money. I don't know how they got that approved. But I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the overeducation of certain whatever. I'm pretty sure the, the embassy and the imbeciles are involved because this is like... <sighs> Gotta be careful how we talk about everybody. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay, but I'm all alone, and I don't know who talks like this outside of, like, the... I mean, I'm an endangered species in the field, so how to handle that one. I know somewhere I visited once, this would be the white flag I would wave, because they were the largest population of closest tribe members I could find. They call themselves Fighting Irish. They're just fighting Catholics and Protestants. I don't know why they're hating one another in Belfast, but here we are. They got some history that someone told them and they believed it. Um, I'm in this other section. It's not so easy to talk because I don't know. They're not really Irish around here anymore. But whatever. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Ketteruzet's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.